Hello fashion lovers and welcome to my channel Stylista Moda. If you have not subscribed this channel still, please subscribe this channel to get the all content of fashion designing. And if you are new to this channel, I'll let you know that we have completed our sketching. We have completed our basic design ideas. And now we are working on three simultaneously subjects that is drafting. Number two is basic designs and number three is the color schemes. So in today's series, we'll be learning three sleeves. These are uh, the topic of drafting. The first one is a pullet sleeve. This is the view of a pullet sleeve. You can see a uh, extended, it is an extended sleeve which goes till neckline. Raglan sleeve, raglan sleeve has no uh, armhole but it has been attached to the neckline. And pigeon sleeve is the puffed version of raglan sleeve, right? So let's start with, first we'll start with the epaulet sleeve. For that I require three patterns basic patterns one is of sleeve this is the sleeve basic pattern this is the back this is the front this is the bodies block basic pattern this is the back and this is the front to start with what we have to do first we have to adjust the patterns of bodies block in such a way so that here we have taken an imaginary center line right so this is the fold this would be the fold line in some way and now we are adjusting now we are adjusting the body's block in such a way so that its shoulder should touch to the center bottom line which I have taken and I will trace it I'm not tracing the entire bodies because I don't require that. I'm only tracing a bit part of it. See, right? And now same I'll do with the front. I'll adjust the front and back in such a way so that their shoulder with the uh, should teach, uh, touch each other. And I'll trace it. Once you are clear with the basic patterns, then any sleeve adaptation you may have or any adaptation you may have. This is the beauty of this course that even 2020, 2021, I hope sleeves it would be once we complete our today's session. But even after, if you find any sleeve which is not covered in this topic, even you can clear this also because you have the knowledge of basics and if you use your brain you can use that and in the same way i'll do i'll trace the board i'll trace the sleeve also sleeve i have to trace the complete i will put the center line on center line which is the most important trick i'll have I'll adjust it and I'll just trace this. And one thing always remember that sleeves top should touch the armholes where we have traced the armholes of the bodies. And I'll trace this completely. Like this. And that's it. Done. Right. Now, the main thing. Here I'll denote a point. Let's say this is point A. This one is. And this one is point B. Right. This one is A and this one is e, B. From point A and B, on both sides, I'll take a point of 1 inch. And same I'll do on the second side. 1 inch. 
this is b dash suppose and this is b double dash this is a dash suppose and this is a double dash and now we will join these point with the help of scale Now, what is the final sleeve? I'll trace it with black. This is the portion of final sleeve. This, from here this, the neckline, and the sleeve. Now you can see this is the green line of the sleeve. If you are new to this channel, you start with the start from the very first video, you'll come to know about the now let's cut this about the basics also. This petrol paper is little rolly, I have not, so it's disturbing us. This is the sleep. This is the repolit sleeve. This is the extended portion and this is the simple sleeve. Right. Now start with the next that is raglan sleeve. Let me set the table. So let's start with raglan sleeve. In this case, we should have a fold line. Thus, I have made a imaginary fold line and for raglan sleeve will be requiring the pattern of kimono sleeve. You remember the kimono sleeve in the last video, last to last video we have done with this. So kimono sleeve pattern will place it on fold line so that it's Central line, its sleeve line should touch to the fold line. And now we will trace this. this right and front neck also we will taste trace
Now what we'll do, simply we'll mark a point one inch down. Suppose again mark the names. This is point A, and I have to drop a point one inch, namely A dash. A to A dash is one inch, right? On the center of this curve, I'll be marking a point, imaginary point that is B, right? And I will join A dash to B. right i have taken a point a marked a point a dash on the neckline one inch down from a and imaginary point b which is at the mid of this curve and i have joined these two lines now what i'll do i'll measure this line a dash b which is approximately in my case is 8 inches and i will mark the midpoint of this with the name c c is the midpoint of a dash b right from here i'll mark a point of 3 4 inch and 3 4 inch on the both side with the name of c dash and c double dash got this midpoint of a dash b which is c from C, I have taken two perpendicular upward and down, downward, C dash and C double dash. The measurement is 3 fourth inches, 3 fourth inches. Sometime it is half inch, half inch and sometime it is 1 inch, 1 inch. It depends upon the uh, fitting you want in your sleeve because this will create a dart which, give, which will give the fitting to your sleeve. Now I will join this with a smooth curve. Either you may use a uh, French curve or you can use this with your hands also. This. Right. And now we have to cut the sleeve. In this sleeve, sleeve and the bodies both are important because then you have to join these two again. So, this will be the pattern of sleeve This is the pattern of sleeve and this is the pattern of bodies. And this is the portion which we need, you need to remove, right? And the Say main thing about this sleeve is that the grain line, the grain line of bodies will be this when you will cut this on fabric and grain line of sleeve will be this always remember right. So now we will cut this. Don't, we don't have to cut this because this would be the fold line. It 
even on the bodies also you have to keep this on the fold line again so because now we are looking for the pattern of sleeve because i am taking this pattern carefully because again i will be using this pattern in the pigeon sleeve This is the sleeve and this is the pattern of back bodies and this is the pattern of front bodies now what we'll do we'll attach this sleeve like this and when you'll open it it will give you the look of raglan sleeve fine <coughs> in gmt we'll be learning to attach the sleeves and necklines and all now we'll work with the third sleeve which is pigeon sleeve pigeon sleeve is very interesting sleeve to learn so let me set the table for that i'm just coming back so now let's start with the next sleeve that is pigeon sleeve for pigeon sleeve i'm taking an imaginary center line that is fold line right and one base line because now we have to cut and paste it again and again and this is the imaginary base line on which i'll be pasting the different pieces the technique is as we have done in previous video that is with melon sleeve it is about same but in melon sleeve there was the pleats during the construction in this sleeve there would be the mm, gathers during the construction so this is the pattern of raglan sleeve which we have created earlier i have just decreased the length because in pigeon sleeve generally we do like to have half sleeve or short sleeves so i have decreased the length and out of this i'll be taking a band of 1 inch out this is the length of 6 inches and a band of 1 inches as we have done in the case of balance sleeve i am taking this out this will keep with us because we require this and this is the grain line of the band always band is cut due with this grain line not with generally people say this is the grain line no this is not the grain line band is always cut through this grain line that means you have to keep this on fabric like this on side on somewhere you can take this out right now this is the sleeve which we will be using for the pattern i'll just match this the shoulder to shoulder and i'll create the gaps of 1 inch on each side of this right and what i'll do i'll just draw the perpendiculars 
from each point so that I can cut them in pieces. And now I will put the numbers on this so that during the pasting we can search them out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and so on. All together we have 14 pieces in this leaf and now we will slash them out all. So one more thing when you use scissor being a designer or being a trailing professional you need you need not to use it as you have to use it as long as long as you may because this is a small scissor even I can cut straight pieces out of this and that you will not get the clusters in this so this is being done so now we'll start pasting the sleeve Now let's paste them all. First I'll have the part one and I'll just paste it so that its bottom should touch to the Always try to paste them straight that is perpendicular to the bottom line. If you are not sure about, so you may take the lines. Then we will create a gap of 1 inch, draw a perpendicular. And paste the other portion. One inch straight perpendicular. I have taken the perpendiculars of 2 inches each about, Let's see, now we will do third part, 2 inch that means 1 inch for the piece which we have this and 
वन इंच फॉर द गैप अप्रोक्सीमेटली देर इज नो बाउंडेशन दैट यू हैव टू टेक वन इंच ओनली यू कैन टेक थ्री फोर्थ इंच यू कैन टेक हाफ इंच इट ऑल डिपेंड्स कि हाउ मच गैदर्स यू रिक्वायर बिकॉज द एक्स्ट्रा पोर्शन वी आर प्रोवाइडिंग इज फॉर द गैदर्स and in this way we will paste all the things i'll just be back after pasting all so here we are back with the all pastings pastings are done now we'll do the process of truing truing is a process because see when you will cut this how you will cut this you will cut this like this no it's not possible so it would be difficult for you to stitch so now we will be making a smooth curve by joining these points generally like this from this to this from this to this from this to this from this to this and then this you know and like this This. And now you'll be asking, what about the fitting? Fitting will be adjusted when you will create the gathers in that. and same at the bottom if there is any gap or something we can cover this gap with the help of this like so this is the patient sleeve now if you want to cut this you can cut this through the these lines right and then you will attach to the arm hole to this right and now uh if you have followed the entire series of drafting i am sure and i can bet now you can adapt any sleeve any sleeve you see in any magazine any sleeve you seen in the real life any sleeve you see in the tv show or somewhere so you can adapt that sleeve you can cut that sleeve and you will if you will use a little brain you can even use uh, you even you can stitch or construct a garment out of this sleeve so if you have not followed the series properly you go through the series of sleeves there are approximately 15 16 17 uh, uh, versions of sleeves which we have created from basic sleeve to the pigeon sleeve right and apart from that some other sleeves we have left just because they are the adaptations of some other sleeves we have given you the methods to adapt the sleeve and now you can adapt them into the different designs now we'll be coming up in the next video with the collars some collars will be learning 3 4 5 6 7 kind of collars are there so that will be learning and uh, then you can adapt them adapt a uh, lots of collars out of that and then we'll come to the simple garments or something right the features will be uh, over at that time and now we'll be drafting the different garments we'll start with the aprons right so till then bye bye and see you again and thank you thank you very much for subscribing us thank you very much for liking us thank you very very much for sharing us and really very thank you for support us and thank you for watching this video too thank you very much fashion lovers will meet in the next video till then bye bye